Hey, I'm Alex. And I'm Cassie. And we're recapping the current season of Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in under eight minutes. Eight minutes? Eight minutes. <laughs> and to heat things up, literally, we're gonna do it while eating the spiciest pizza we could find. <laughs> I'm scared. Me too. Clock starts now. So, there's an awesome theme song, but for the sake of time, here it is super sped up. That was dope. Okay, we open on NYC. The turtles are ziplining. They're looking really cool. Rap, he's the leader. He's a big, powerful turtle. He swoops in like a boss. Oh, sandwich! Oh. It's already hot. It's Very already hot. hot. That's funny. Leo. Jokester, full of one-liners. Tries to play it cool, doesn't always play it cool. Yeah. Oh. Donnie, tech-savvy turtle with totally top-notch tech. Try saying that five times fast. Totally top-notch tech. Totally top tech. tech. I didn't, you didn't even get it once. That wasn't you didn't even get it once. once. Comment below if you can say it more than me. Finally, we got Mikey. He's the youngest, smallest, but he's got the biggest heart. This knee pad wearing graffiti spraying pizza munching dude loves his family more than anything. I love you guys. It's honestly the sweetest thing we've ever heard. So sweet. So right off the bat, we realized that the turtles are still working on this whole hero thing. They just let this dude go. He's holding a glowing briefcase, which is like a universal symbol for evil. <laughs> And they broke into a hotel pool. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Uh -oh. That's where we meet April. She's their best friend. She's also their only human friend. You're my only human friend. That's weird. You're my only weird human thing to say, friend. Man. April is a boss. She's got a lot of attitude. She's also got a furry friend named Mayhem. And, oh yeah, he teleports. It's sick. <laughs> hey, it plays fetch. My tongue just teleported to the surface of the sun. They got a daddy. Who's her dad? Splinter, a kung fu kicking fat rat with a strange connection to Lujitsu. But more on that later. We should probably mention that they open a portal to a mystic world under NYC. That seems pretty important. That's actually Parker very plot. important. Mm -hmm. It's a very important plot point. That's actually where they get awesome mystic weapons. I mean, these things are sick. Yeah, we got Ras Tanfa, slaps them together, big glowy energy field around bang, him, bang. makes him super big, super strong. We got really Mikey's awesome. glowy orb thing. It's like a, a like a crazy yo-yo that, that he flies around all the time, but sometimes it turns into a demon skull, oh. a flaming demon skull. Uh -oh. Thing is sick. Watch out for Leo's sword. It cuts through space. He can stick anything through. It pops out anywhere he wants it to. Open a portal to New Jersey. You want a sandwich from the other room? Slice, grab a sandwich. Donnie, he doesn't need a mystic weapon because he's got this tech bow staff with like a million different options. It's dope. What's your favorite? Honestly, my favorite, Raf's Tonfa. Bang! Got a force field around me. Bash through things. That's cool. That's cool. I'm gonna go with Leo's sword, okay? In a sticky situation. Great need to get out of somewhere. Swing! <laughs> Bye! Bye! Comment below with your favorite mystic weapon right now. In this mystic world, that's where they meet Baron Drax. Baron Drax. Dun dun dun. He's a big bad guy voiced by John. Cena, you can't see me. They can see you, but I know what you're saying. <laughs> he's the biggest bad guy of them all, and he's trying to mutate the entire human race. Like, this dude's not a really good guy. He's not your friend, buddy, but he's also not the only villain they faced. They oh, also faced the Foot Clan. They faced little paper monsters, big paper monsters, mutated chef pig that sucks people's powers. What? What's his name again? Me Sweats. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Me Sweats. They also fight Alberto, an animatronic nightmare. Sheesh. There's also Warren Stone. Um, he's technically a villain, but I think we can skip him. Prepare to taste the awesome wrath of my incredible... Yeah, I mean, he's a worm. Come on. He's a worm. Anyway, they fight a hypnotizing hippopotamus. They should call him Hypnopotamus. They already do. Uh, Repo Mantis. Creepy bug Repo Man. And Todd! Hey, I'm Todd! Who we actually thought was a bad guy. Turns out he's a really nice guy, loves puppies, and makes good lemonade. Yeah, they also fight some mutant mascots. Spank a luchador named Ghost Bear. Literally. Literally. Debunk a grocery store ghost story. Save April School from an army of homecoming zombies. And they wrestle some mutant pizza making equipment. Mutant pizza. That actually describes what we're eating right now. It's straight up mutagen. This is mutagen. And I better get some power. You're not gonna. No, I'm probably not going to. We should probably also mention a very important plot point. Donnie's computer password is Booty Shaker 9000. <laughs> what? You know I love to dance. Not gonna apologize for that. So why don't you comment below Booty Shaker 9000. How many times can you comment Booty Shaker 9000? Let's see if we can get 9000 comments below that says, you guessed it, Booty Shaker 9000. Oh. How could we forget Big Mama? Big Mama, she's the big evil uh, giant spider lady. Voiced by the incredible Lena Headey. That's right, that's right. She takes the Uskitos, these, these little guys, 
mutates people, makes them fight in her messed up tournament called the Battle Nexus. <sighs> messed up tournament, awesome name. Battle Nexus. I might change my name to Battle Nexus. You could, you could, you could name your dog Battle Nexus. Battle Nexus, come here, Battle Nexus. <laughs> Baron Draxon, remember this dude? He comes back for his bugs, starts a three-way fight between the turtles, himself, and Big Mama. And he reveals that he created the turtles. What? I may have created you, but I will not hesitate to destroy you. <laughs> Remember wow. way back in the first episode when he said this? The mutation worked just like it did all those years ago. Or when he first saw the turtles and said this? You walk You're out of here. Beautiful. Oh. Get woke, people. There's a whole backstory going on right here. Hey, anyway, Raph uses his Tonfa power up to save Leo from getting tossed off a roof. And Donnie and Mikey finally defeat Big Mama using the law of physics. Let me go! No, Mikey, you let go. Okie dokie. Great fight. great fight. Love the fight. fight. Oh, there's one more thing that we should be talking about, by the way. Oh, that's right. Hmm. A little small detail called yeah. the, the Evil League, League of, of Mutants. Mutants. Remember all those guys we mentioned less than a minute ago? Baron Jackson brought them back and created an all-star monster, monster team. They're all back. The pig, the hippo, the mantis. Oh, and remember Todd? Todd! He said he was a good guy. Turns out he's actually a bad guy. Yeah. How could you do that to us, Todd? Hey! How do you like my new friends? They are so serious. I'm like, what? And they're like, ah! And I'm like, enough! Anyway, this is where there's a musical number explaining that the turtles have a strange connection to Lujitsu. At the battle, Nexus strikes and found himself the perfect human fighter. He was the greatest champion, it's absolute and tight. Irritating he was going to be, nothing short of masterful. With warriors made from him, the Baron would be yes, so powerful. So the turtles use Lujitsu's training to beat the evil League of Mutants and keep the city safe. That's right. So, to recap the recap. The turtles are awesome brothers. Baron Draxum is a bad guy. They get awesome weapons. Uh, fight crazy villains and become heroes. So, to recap the recap of the recap, oh, turtles. My mouth burns. Draxon? This pizza's too spicy, man. Weapons? Yo, I need help. I'm sorry. Hey, that's Todd. Yeah, that's it. That's we did it. it. We did hey. it. Comment below with your there favorite moments, please. And uh, let's get some milk. Let's get some milk. <laughs> the boys need some milk. I needed help.